Hello guys, welcome once more to Aurora Forex. As we are continuing, we've just had some uh, secondary explosions in Earth's orbit with the M41 broadswords. I should really build some kind of hangar on Earth that would at least um, save us the maintenance cost of maintaining our ships. And I do need to design a PDC actually, so that's something I should actually do. Probably a PDC with some... Um, Missile launch, perhaps, or maybe just, I don't know. It, it really depends. I i just want to sort out my mineral situation, and, um, yeah. Right, Antioch has completed orders, that's great. Love it when the plan comes together. Right, so that's new garbage. Right, civilian ships are coming. Fleets. We'll combine these fleets, then. Okay. So we're adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. That should increase our... Yeah. Um, it should increase as we've combined them. Lovely. So we'll just need to focus on bringing up that temperature. Same deal as with Lupical Prime. Yeah. We have the Presper over here. I haven't really ever done anything with the Presper. We have absolutely no mining here, and that's a travesty. So I need to set, um, set up mining. Uh, ships to bring mining complexes over here. Oh. Mining is difficult so far, just for the fact... That, well, let's take a look at the availability, actually, before I say something. Availability. Yeah, 0 0.1. Fucking hell. Everything is 0 0.1. It's really irritating. At least here, the geranium's fairly accessible. Corvamide's okay. Uh, Galasite, yeah. Tritanium's not bad. Eris, 0 0.9, that geranium's easily accessible. Yeah, that's not bad then. Corundium, hmm. 0 0.9, that's pretty good. So you can see that annual production difference there, 172 to 1052. It's a big old difference. Geranium, Colvermite. Boronides running out soon. Yeah, these ones are fairly easily accessible, except for Boronite, but that one's almost gone. Yeah. Geranium. That one's getting even harder to access. Yeah, we don't have much of a stockpile on Earth. Surprising, really. So, we really do need to start exploring more, and we need to build a hell of a lot more mines. So I think what I'll do then with Earth's industry is probably build more mines. Use those resources we have left. Okay. Right. Hmm. It would be good to have these engines. But... We'll build the last of one. That should finish that. And then after that we'll have the mines continue. How many mines do we have on Earth? We have about 502 mines. That's good. 19 automated mines. Right, the Jura should have been refueled by now. Okay. Right, so I'm going to have you take automated mines, um, actually no, I'll have you take mines to Lupical Prime. Let's get this shit going. Let's get it going properly. And again, I could take them to um, Eris, which would probably be a hell of a lot easier. I think we'll take them to Eris, we'll take the automated mines to Eris, and then once all the automated mines are gone, then we'll take mines to um, Lupical Prime. Eris, unload automated mine, boom, go. You only have, uh, roughly half your fuel. What's going on here? Hmm, five million liters of fuel. Yeah. Need you to refuel first, then. Oh, but gonna just go, and then we'll refuel you when we need to. Um, where's this stone, yeah? around Uranus somewhere. 
Yeah, this stone is over here. Only 39% fuel. Really? I do hope you've not, like, just not been doing anything for this entire time. I would be rather annoyed. Okay. Just no conditionals, just get fuel. Right, we have a second basilisk in this system. Did I tell it to go out? I can't remember what it is. Ah, soul site fuel. Okay, get over here at Saturn. Bleed fuel. Yeah, you're building fuel up, so that's good. That's very good. Right, that's good to know. How about in the Phoenician system? We have the basilisk over here as well. Should really rename them, to be honest. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing, isn't it? Well, at least you're building up some fuel, so... Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So things are looking relatively rosy besides that. Um, once we do have the carriers built, at least I'll load the fighters onto the carriers and then, um, yeah... Hmm. We'll have to be very careful with our command ships, really. Mostly because we won't be able to move out everybody at once. So, perhaps... Hmm. Well, we'll have to reform into a fleet after, anyway. Okay, uh, return has been completed. We completed that last engine. Uh, construction of the mines has begun again. That's good. Very good. Right, 73.9. Let's get in there. So we go. Oh, right, okay. You are pretty bloody slow, aren't you? Right, how are we getting on over here, then? How's it only counting as 10? Alright, the Phoenician terraformers. Damn it. Just delete this task group. Damn it. Phoenician terraformers. Yeah. Unless it's just a lot harder. Okay. So we have Solsec Alpha over here then. Enforcer and Green Arrow. Leonidas, Macedonia. Other Macedonia. Hmm. I could do a build in those new ASMs, but thankfully they don't really require much resources. Well, they use Uridium, I do believe. Quite a bit of Uridium, something like 70 per missile, or maybe 70 for a group of 60. Uh, but that's not bad, especially as our missile ships don't really carry many, that many ASMs. I'm glad that we'll have the carriers though, it's going to give us a diversity of possible attack vectors, considering that we'll be able to either use beams, um, beams for that sort of thing, um, missiles, or if we can't catch them or we want to harass them, we could use the fighters. I don't know how long the fighters would last, so I'd be kind of loathed um, to actually... Send them out, to be honest. It would uh, depend really on the target. I mean, for something like a scout ship, then hell yeah. Get rid of those annoying bastards. I think actually once we do have our first um, carrier, we'll s well, we'll have both of them at the same time. We might go back to Tau City and then deal with that incursion there and discover how they've actually got there. That would be a good plan. 
Hmm. I really do want to scout out the Proxima Centauri system once more. If I could do it, like, I don't know. Send some kind of sensory apparatus or something like that, that'd be good. Ah, for God's sakes. Civilian mining colony on uh, Wild has been expanded, that's good. New scientists. Ah. It's alright. 20? 10? Not so hot in the 10, but the 20 is alright. Can use that in the future. Right then. I think we spent a lot of our resources on these uh, research labs. <laughs> ah dear. We will have to unlock the salvaging technology, and then at least we can recover some uh, resources from the destroyed ships, which would be lovely. Get something out of it. Okay, need to change this, I keep forgetting. Right. Not really that much uh, going on this turn. Let's take a look at uh, Lubical. Have you arrived? You should be almost there, you'll be there within the month anyway. Okay. So, Lubical A1. Now, I think that's like a gas giant or something. And I thought um, I just had the Estonia of the press over there for shits and giggles at first. I thought I'd fucked up and it was actually over the sun, but no, it turns out there's actually a gas giant there and I completely got, uh, forgot. Speaking of the press, I could really do with having that harvested fuel as well, but the thing is, I, I should probably have waited a long time before I designed those because they're just not fuel efficient to really be practical. Their engines just didn't have the power. Which is okay, I guess. Ah oh, well, you live and you learn. I do think if we take out the Proxy Centauri aliens, then uh, we can steal that world. Yeah. Carried out orders to detach. Good. We know that works now. So we're going to. We have a thing over here. We'll keep on terraforming the world then. Yeah, so keep adding that to the world. We'll try and bring that temperature up and sort it out. Venetian. So there's now 13 million people on New Carthage. Incredible house growing. Right here. Annual growth rate, manufacturing. Good. Right. 55 construction factories, 34 mines. I think we're good for construction factories. We really just need more mines, really. Hector. Hmm. Okay, you came here with the Basilisk, so we'll have you head back to Earth. Yeah, you're definitely in the Phoenician system. I can tell that one. <laughs> right, so back to Earth. Then, load mines. Yeah. Okay, load mines, then once you're done with that, we'll give you new orders. So I might decide to actually have you take mines to Lupical Prime. Do you have anybody who's bringing anything else? Cargo. That's the original Brunei. Hamilton. Load mine. And load the new Carthage. Yeah, carrying five mines. Transit. Ah, right, you're unloading or floating on Eris. Carrying five mines. Good. Yeah, these ships are pretty good for this. I mean, they can carry quite a number of mines at once, so at least it makes it worthwhile. I think what I might have to do to save on fuel is basically have them group together and then carry all their mines at once, and then at least we can get it going pretty quickly and save fuel at the same time. Well, we're not really saving on fuel that much, but I suppose it does cut down on the number of trips that you have to make. Kinda. Yeah. Okay. On shipyards, 84. Um, is anybody actually going to... Uh, so we've got new Carthage. I think we have to establish something on the world for people to start going there. Oh, it might just take some time. That 
surely. It's not actually... No, surely it must be considered a colony. I guess it's because there's no people here, but it's not uh, ringed. But it should be good. It should be good. I don't know why people aren't coming here yet. Probably have to establish something, but ah oh well. New Carthage will be at a point soon where it'll be able to um, be considered stable for population. So then what I'll probably do then is consider it stable and we'll have people move to um, Syracuse, get that stable, and then that'll be good for us. They can grow and everything will be absolutely divine. Looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. Okay. Probably could have done with the Hector carrying a mass driver to Syracuse. That would have been pretty decent. Yeah. Ah, uh, we'll see. I realise I called the world Syracuse, but I could have called it New Syracuse, but ah. Uh, screw it. Right, civilian mining colony is being enlarged, that's nice. I mean, once we have Lupical Prime sorted, then it's going to be great. I mean, we'll be able to shift all that infrastructure. There's a shitload of infrastructure here. Bloody hell. Let's, uh, let's cancel those things. <laughs> it's a lot of infrastructure. Let's get rid of the automated mines as well. Let's cancel these. Okay. Right, civilian mines. Purchase minerals. Purchase. Purchase, 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 purchase. Good. Radio. I might invest in the civilian economy again. I mean, we are making wealth again. We have 259,000, I think. Yeah. So I might invest in them. Last year's income. Yeah. I think I'll invest in this one. that one as well. Get them going. How's research? Uh, it's progressing. This one will be done fairly soon, the Mason focusing. Not too bad. Not too bad. <sighs> These are almost done, so they should probably be done within the month. Possibly next month. Then uh, that should be fine. Start working on the broadswords again. I might have to build some more fighter building capacity to not be waiting forever. But even just having a few fighters should be fine. Should be good. I mean, we'll only be able to deploy them within, like, sensor range unless I designed one with sensors of their own. But it's cost and weight. And in the future, we'll be able to improve our sensors. I am somewhat disappointed that I couldn't install the new engines on my ships. Something of an issue. But I think in the future what we'll probably resort to is maybe just having carriers as our um, sort of patrol craft, our patrol system patrols. Uh, mostly due to the fact that they could uh, go into a system, stay around the planet, and then if there's any sort of trouble they can go there themselves, or they can deploy their strike fighters. Error 3265. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens with that one. Right. Hades and the Fingers of Dawn. Fantastic. Ah, right, they've launched a few ships. Small, large, huge. Good. Okay. That's good then. So we have our um, carriers. M41, M41. So we'll go with Hull, M41. You're in for an overhaul. Uh, do they need their mothership assigned before? Hmm. I'm not seeing them here. I need to get rid of these bloody missile complexes. They're really kind of worthless, aren't they? Ah, oh, there we go. SL. Why is it called S -hell? Um, SL? Hmm. Oh god, ejected to space. Hardcore. Hmm. 
Interesting. Oh, manual maintenance, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Nah, you don't have only one layer of armor. Don't bullshit me like that. Where the fuck is it? Um, why is it SL? Hmm. Okay, bugger it. We'll get rid of those um, fighters, I guess. And then we'll have to start a new because I can't seem to aside them, unless I can do it from here, then it'll change. Right. Industry. Hmm. Okay. Soul Psych. But the... I don't know why it's called SL. Bam, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll find a way. There must be a way. Add. There we go. Perhaps this got your info overhaul. Try this. Soul sake. Um Cargo. I have cargo space? What? They must be in one of the mother in the carriers. Surely. Hmm. We'll delete the ship and then we'll restart. I fucked up there apparently. Alright, unpause. Well actually what we might do is build some more fighter factories first, so... That's not much. Get that going. And missile. Sorry, fighters. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll build 12 then. So. Maybe it's because we didn't do something in the design. So let's go back to the design then, shall we? And make sure. So I think I missed something. M41. Right. Copy design. Got the design copy here. 
Um, I'm missing something somewhere. I wish it'd stop considering itself as a bloody f right flu to science. I'm missing it somewhere. It's here, absolutely. It's here somewhere. I know it is. Okay. Well, let's go into the um, Reddit and I'll find it. <laughs> but it's definitely here. You have to assign it to a mothership. Now, we're not detecting our motherships when we go to the... Uh, task group, so we'll, we'll find it, we'll find it. Give me a moment and I'll find it for you guys. As I've said before, I'm still learning as well. I started the game for like, what, two hours prior experience and, uh, yeah, I've played like maybe 20, almost 30 times more or something like that than I have outside of recording. Alright. A moment, 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 moment. Um, it's here somewhere. Okay. Might have found it. I have indeed found it. Okay. Right. Ah. Right, let's see. Misses of Fighters. Shit. Yeah, I may, may have... Act, yeah, I probably should not have deleted those things. Oh, well. You live and you learn. You laugh and you love. So I guess we'll build those fighters again. Oops. Ah, oh, well. I couldn't see anything, I'll just check. Okay. We'll start the, um... Oh, bloody hell, I hate when it does this. Alright, fighters. Build 12. 2090 by arse. Okay. <laughs> so, we'll have to put them into the task groups and uh, probably use a fighter screen to assign them. Then at least we can do that. Then yeah, I mean, I probably should not have deleted those. Really wish I hadn't now, but oh well. Ah, you live and you learn. Hmm. Hopefully in time we'll have those worlds um, ready for human habitation. I mean, we'll have uh, possibly three Earth-like planets in the Phoenician system. We'll have Lupical Prime, which is inhabited already. We just need to bring it up. Right, those guys are completed overhaul good. Ah, bloody hell. Lots of people have been updated and let go and etc, etc. Crew Proxima has been fully ready. Um, they've shipped... Well, scratch one of their ships. But um, alas, guys, we are at that time. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Ooh, we've also completed that research. So remember, if you've enjoyed this, you can go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, guys, you have been you, I have been me, and um, see you soon. Goodbye for now.